basically a proactive approach to maintenance. And I'll let these gentlemen talk to us about random animals. Random, I got it. All right, I can only talk about Blackhawks. CBM is basically the same on all the platforms, but on the UH 60 platform, the IVHMS system monitors 34 components, 17 of which are for vibration. And through the through the analysis, the, the helicopter is monitored 100% of the time during its operation. It's got an algorithm that it, it goes through and takes a recording of each vibration level so many times a second, so many times a minute, whatever it's set up for. So it's monitoring track and balance, it's monitoring drive shafts, oil coolers, engines, oil pressures, torques, all your flight instruments input into it, so it's, it's like a mini a flight data recorder. Uh, the, the IBHMS system also has a flight voice recorder in it that the safety center can pull in the event there was an incident. But through this, we've been able to reduce arbitrarily replacing components based on a time change interval to a condition change interval based on the monitoring system. Oil cooler is a perfect example. We've added almost 500 hours to it. I think we're one step away from going to a true condition change on it from a time, which is just going to be a great savings for us. We're, we're taking prematurely taking a lot of stuff off that wasn't necessary. And then the flip side of it is, you go out on one flight, it's great. You go out on the very next flight, it's grossly out of limits. That just told me that the component is either in the process of failing or has failed. I can remove it immediately, get it off. They're thus preventing a catastrophic failure or serious damage. Just to give you an idea, on the CBM, we've got it right now in about 60% of the aircraft. Last year alone, we saved $200 million in flight hour cost of flight hours. Just last year alone, just on 60% of the aircraft. It's huge. But the real, the real benefit of it is it takes the burden off the soldier from having to take something off and then put it back on. If those savings were turned around and put right back in your budget, how many helicopters would be stopped? $200 million. $200 million for a helicopter? I'm not sure. What, is a, what does Apache cost? You hear quote figures 16 million to 34 million, sir. It depends on all the admission equipment. So I would say about 25 million would be a safe ball. The question now is, is right now we're going to have 86% of it uh, fleet done by 12. Now some of that is because we're using uh, deployment funds to get them, whether we bring them back from reset or bring them in and keep them in the theater with the CBM on them. What we'd like to do is we're telling the Army, if you can give us another 218 million over the next three years, we can outfit the whole fleet even those that are not employed, like the National Guard units and everything else, because it's going to cost avoid. Well, we, we expect in the next four years we'll cost avoid about a trillion dollars, or a billion dollars.